Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to um, rip an Xbox 360 game, or an original copy that you own, uh, using a program called WX Ripper. So, the first, you're going to need three things. You're going to need a uh, DVD that is larger than 7.5 gigabytes, um, so it's definitely on a dual layer DVD. Um, I'm using uh, a TV series called Heroes, uh, Season 1, Disc 3. You're also going to need the game that you're going to be ripping, obviously. And the last thing you're going to need is a paper clip. This is for this method. So you start off with um, putting the movie or DVD or whatever, not the Xbox game, in your DVD burner and just put it in. Alright, now you're going to switch over to your computer. Um, and you're going to open a program called WX Ripper. It's a uh, free program. And I'll provide a link in the description for you to download. So uh, once it's open, you're going to uh, go down to a little drop-down menu right here. Since I have two drives, it's giving me two options. I'm obviously going to select the one that has a disc in it, which is the Heroes one. And then you're going to click the little square icon, which is uh, Stop Drive. Alright, so you're going to stick a uh, paper clip or like a safety pin in the little emergency hole. All uh, DVD drives have one. You're going to push it and then you kind of have to pull on your DVD drive. So take out the uh, movie or whatever and then take your Xbox game that you're going to rip and put it in the same drive. And then give the little... Uh, drive a push, it's not going to auto close so you're going to have to manually shut it. Alright, once the uh, disc is in, you're going to hit the little play button which will spin the drive and then uh, click the little magnifying glass and what this does is uh, find a magic number. Um, knowing what that is is not important. Um, so once you're done with that, you're going to click this little save icon to save the layout file. And um, you're going to name the layout file whatever you want. I'm just going to name mine IV Layout for 4 because it's Grand Theft Auto 4. And then um, you can just hit save. Alright, once you're done saving it, you can go ahead and uh, minimize WX Ripper. And then go to the file that you just saved. Mine happens to be in this folder. Uh, then open it with Notepad. My, my default's already set, but yours might not be. Then go to the third line and change the capital C to a capital D and then uh, go ahead and save it alright you can go ahead and reopen uh, WX Ripper from uh, when you minimized it and click the little folder um, now here's where you're gonna open the layout that you just edited and then as you can see the third line instead of saying copy like it did before it now says dummy so that's pretty much all you did Alright, here's uh, where we're going to start the dump. The, that's the little green arrow. Uh, it says start dump. And then you're just going to name your file and uh, click save. Um, if everything goes fine, uh, the status should start to increase and it'll move through each action. Uh, normally ripping takes about half an hour to 45 minutes depending on the game and the size of the game. So you can just go watch TV or whatever you want while it's ripping. And instantly with the magic of video editing, uh, you can see the tail end of my rip. Um, as you can see, it's almost done. Uh, it just has to match the size. And down at the bottom, right about now, there you go. Now it says done. And um, there you go, you ripped your uh, game. And uh, now you just have to stealth patch it in AGBX. You can also see, uh, here's the ISO, and here's the layout. Uh, you can delete the layout, you no longer need it. It's just for uh, WX Ripper.